were on a sh I, I actually had a small little like guest reporter role on JAG once. And, um, I remember. <laughs> I remember. I do. I do. No, I, I think I, I think No, I you don't. There was 250 episodes, so yes. my memory's a little Yes, you were on that show for a long time. Good long for you. Long time, a whole lifetime. Good for you. Great Thank success you. because Thank of you guys. Listen, um, this is our Google Plus Hangout. I don't know if you've heard of it. I haven't. It's basically all of the social media platforms kind of um, rolled into one. Shot up with steroids, married to Skype is how I like to explain wow. it. Right? Okay. I like it. it allows us to hang out with anywhere from five to ten people from all over the world. But we also have yeah. the on air version, which allows us to broadcast to the potentially 150 plus million registered Google Plus users. Yeah. And it's also live on Google Plus right now. So there's a bunch of people watching it. I didn't it. even know about Google Plus, so it's well, a learning day. Well, yeah, now you're going to know about it. Well, then let me hold this up and tell them. Donate Ab absolutely. to Better LA's. We're, we're going to we're gonna definitely and, and promote uh, the art of the city. We're going to plug that at Better LA. Better listen, LA. Listen, if you guys are um, just watching us on air, it's Maria from the Fox 11 Newsroom here in Los Angeles. Kind of a behind the scenes look at what goes on. And we have David James Elliott, uh, the now star of the show, very popular show actually, uh, GCB, and also was on JAG for about 10 seasons, I think, 10, 10 seasons, years. 10 years, yeah. And, um, joining us to talk about a better LA. Before we get to that, I want to introduce you to the gang of the hangout. Oh. Um, there's a bunch of them hanging out with us today. Let's see who is here. We've got Dayano, who's hanging out from Reno. Edwin, who is here actually in Los Angeles. Eric is, um, I don't know, Portland. <laughs> Portland, you got it. How you doing? Yeah, Silicon Portland. Valley. Wow. La Laurent is in Paris. Laurent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bonsoir, actually. I think it's like five or six maybe there. Oh, really? And uh, this is Matt, who's hanging out from Minot, North Dakota. How's it going? Dakota in the music room. Yes, nice. yes. And we had someone in from Canada, and I, I wanted him to stay, but I guess he, he jumped out. Yeah, and Canadians, to you can't rely well, on. <laughs> Minot, Minot, North Dakota is yes. almost Canada, yes. though. Uh, anyway, let's yeah, start. North Dakota's yeah. almost Canada. Yeah. It's yeah. practically there. Yeah, yeah it's cold <laughs> enough, for sure. Yeah. Um, listen, let's talk about the, uh, the Better L.A., um, yeah, Better LA, uh, what is that? Yeah, well, you know, the Better LA is a uh, charity that Pete Carroll started, and uh, uh, you know, their uh, I guess their mission statement is uh, empowering community from within. So Pete, in the worst days of the gang violence, Pete Carroll uh, went down there to try to procure uh, a young kid who was a very talented football player, mm -hmm. and and he talked about. Possibly pulling him out of there. He see he he asked somebody who who was in the you know tight in the community, and uh, he said, "How can we get him out?" And they went, "Well, maybe. He, what if he doesn't want to leave? I mean, his family's here, his mm -hmm, friends are here. Mm -hmm. He grew up here. He doesn't really know any other area." And Pete went down at night and spent time with the families, and he talked to the people in L.A. and he realized in like Watts, uh, mm -hmm. and he realized that uh, you know that this was a, a really undercovered. Problem. I mean, 15,000 people have died in gang violence since the 80s, um, and and he realized that the, really it's such a complex problem. There's no one fix. So what a better LA does is it funds all these little satellite grassroots operations like Safe Passage that help kids get back and forth to school mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. uh, you know PTSD rates among children in the hard hit areas of Los Angeles are as high as children in. Iraq or Afghanistan. Well, Korea. that's astounding. That's okay. astounding. Okay. Um, there's not one person I heard yesterday at a community meeting that lives in Watts that has not lost a loved one to gang violence. And they, 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 the stuff that they talked about, and I don't want to say flippantly, but they, it wasn't flippant, but they talked like everybody, you know, they it was just rolled off everybody. the tongue right. where you would go, yeah, well, I lost two children to, to they were murdered, shot. Uh, killed, you heard about know. those two students um, near USC. I heard about USC that near that USC. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, it's just no end. The stuff that they deal with every day. You know, one one element of that would. So, how can uh, we be involved? What can we do? Well, we can go to a betterla.org and uh, donate, or we can show up at in the yard of the city on uh, May third at uh, Viviana oh, in up LA. Next week. Right? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It's going to be an amazing event, and there's an after party if you can't afford the big party, mm -hmm. which is a celebration of LA culture. We have celebrity chefs. We have Joaquin from Patina. Mm. We have the um, we have the uh, Drago brothers, among others. 
Uh, we have a lot of great top ballet artists. Their artwork has been uh, donated for auction. Sharon Stone is going to run the auction. Cheech Marin is our host. I'm on the host committee, so that's why I'm here pumping it. And um, uh, what else can I tell you? Or go come to the after party. Alcohol is free. Tickets are eighty dollars, forty for students. But uh, you know the cost of drinks these days, eighty dollars would be gone if you had to pay to get in and pay for your drinks. So and we have five of uh, the hot young uh, DJs. Um, DJ Rashida, DJ Adam Twelve, among others. And you'll be there. And I'll be there. There you go. See, a great event to go to here in LA. So tell your friends uh, for a better LA. I'm listen. I'm going to open it up to the hangout here and see if uh, any of our guys have a Anybody question. Anybody cares? Yeah, I have a I have a question actually. Go um, ahead. You know, I, I met Pete Carroll about uh, about three years ago, and all he talked about was a better L.A. He didn't want to talk about football. He wanted to talk about a better L.A. Is he still involved uh, in the organization? Oh, yeah, 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 and he will be there uh, on May 3rd. Pete's very involved. L.A. is his home. He's mm -hmm. coaching Seattle at the moment. Uh, but, L uh, you know, Pete, when, if you met Pete, and I'm sure yeah, guy, within minutes you realize he's a guy that has the energy of any 12 people together he doesn't stop and his mind is always working and he and he's all about giving back I mean Pete is just a one of those exemplary he's stand up you know he's stand -up. we could all learn from he's, why, he's why is this one important to you why why are you why involved with this I, you one? know I mean this is not the only um no that's not the only that you're, you're no involved certainly with not but but I live in Los Angeles yeah. and uh, I spent the day in Watts yesterday um and I was just so touched by by you know the, mm -hmm. the people that I spoke to and uh, we need to get to these kids. I mean that's how we we're going to really, make really that's difference. what that's yeah. the, that is the next yeah. generation you know and it's working. That's the thing about this program. These programs that they fund you know it's working. Gang violence is down. The LAPD have attributed uh, Pete's charity mm -hmm. to really making a huge difference. And uh, ultimately, what we'd like to do is. And what Pete's vision is to instigate it in all the big American Obviously. cities where, where gang violence is a big problem and to start get federal mm -hmm. funding. Yeah, it's not only you here. Know. I mean, I just heard Chicago, it was an interview last no. night about their huge gang sure. problem. It's rampant. And it is. Uh, okay, who, el who else has a question? Deano? Yep, go ahead. I was just curious. Um, I, know, I know you directed like three or four episodes of JAG. Yeah. It's like, were you interested yeah. in moving more in, into the directorial role, stepping yeah, behind? Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, you know what? I am interested in that. I've been writing, and uh, I, in fact, I have a, uh, a feature that I wrote that I'm uh, trying to uh, to get made, and I want to direct that. So uh, I love that. Really, it was probably the most fun in the ten years was directing. How does a kid from Canada end up? In LA, and I don't know. You know, yeah. I used to drive down Sunset Boulevard, and I still occasionally go. I can't believe I'm still here. <laughs> really? And I've almost been here longer than I was there yes. at this point. Yeah, because you moved here when you were yeah, in, yeah, in the late younger. 80s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that you're. Older okay, now, I'm, yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting up. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, you know. Okay. Um, I, got a, I got a question. Yeah, go yeah. ahead, Matt. Oh, um, what uh, what kind of music do you like? I like everything, man. I'm notice I, I have a room like that. Um, I have. Uh, you play? Three guitars. Wait, weren't yeah, you I in a band or something? I was in bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah band. I was in a bunch of bands. You know, coming up. I'm a guitar who's your, player. Who's uh, some of your uh, influences on guitar? I mean, uh, God, man. I remember hearing Paul McCartney say that one of the things that the Beatles had that a, that a lot of players don't have today is they had such an eclectic mix of music styles that influenced them and today all we have is rock right yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, I mean I, I really dig jazz and I, um, you know, I, I love uh, classical music and I, I love everything I can't listen I have a hard time listening to the same stuff over and over again like my wife will mm -hmm. listen to the same 12 songs over and over the ones that you again. play what if no. you were to play a song to your wife uh, uh, you know what would what types of music would you? <laughs> oh, loaded question. Oh. <laughs> my wife usually goes, "Stop playing the guitar." <laughs> That's what I tell my husband. Like, Honey, enough of the Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go into your music yeah. room and play in there. So. Nope. You play what, what I play yeah, for yeah. her? I, you know, I can't. I, I don't know. What, what do I play? You need you need to play again. It sounds like it's been a little while since you've, yeah. you've played well, yeah, for her. I'm just so used to her telling me to stop. <laughs> I don't play for her. Um, Kempton, you are back. You are yeah. a fan of the show GCB. I know. Yes. That. 
Kristen Chenif with uh, Channel with was here um, right. recently as okay. well. Um, how is that working with the ladies? Are great, you, oh, yeah? great, really talented cast. Yeah, but it, fun, right? it's a fun show. Yeah. Sure what to do? Got a question? Do you have a question? You're from, you're from Canada? Yeah. Yes, I'm from Canada. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw your bio. You went to Rice and uh, I went to U of Toronto. It's, oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's cool. So I have a question. So how much of the show, like the show looks fantastic and the dialogues are really funny. Um, sometimes I have this question. So do you guys uh, have it very much scripted or is it like do you guys do uh, riff off and, and try different lines? Uh, how scripted oh, it's is uh, scripted. the show? Yeah, that's fully scripted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, no. So nobody's ad writers, living. yeah. Right, we have well, Robert Harling who, who uh, you know, writes or certainly oversees everything, and he created the show. And he, he did First Wives Club and Steel Magnolias. Uh, so he's a, he's a uh, brilliant uh, comic writer. And I, I don't know if this question was asked, uh, but uh, the, the title, the, the name of the show, was it that uh, the controversy in, inserted just to uh, get the excitement going, or yeah, do you guys yeah, actually I mean, have to I change it? I would think that, that yeah, I, I think they probably bought the book mostly for the title. Yeah, I was going to say mm. the title of the book was actually that. Yeah, and they awesome. changed yeah, yeah. Uh, right. television. Exactly. You know, but pe and, and it's one of those, those titles that, that people jump to conclusions about but uh, I, I couldn't I tried to get the book but it's out of print and maybe back in print now uh, mm -hmm. I don't know but mm -hmm. it was it wasn't a uh, disparaging title it was something that this group of women who live in that area referred to themselves as mm -hmm. their boss oh. exactly. mm -hmm. right, right. when you so, when they're referring to themselves then it's not derogative and, and but yeah, yeah well, and it's, it's fun yeah. it's a whole, a whole lot of fun a fun show to watch yeah, no, that's kind of a, a flattering thing now to be called such, because you yeah. equate, you know, the B word with someone who is strong right. and so, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah confident. Right. Um, okay, one last question: Is there a role that's on your top list? Like, what, what, what would you like to to play um, next or coming hmm. up soon? I've had that, you know. I mean, I always think of Shakespeare when, oh. I, when I think of that. So, mm. I, my favorite Shakespeare role was Richard II. You know? yes. so that's a role I would love. That Bert, was that a Burton? Did he play that a lot? Richard, Richard Burton? Burton? No, no, no. Uh, no oh, the oh, famous no. Richard II was uh, in the theater. I, I don't. They never filmed no? it, so. Uh, it oh, was, okay um, then. Um, God, what's, what's his name? The guy from uh, from uh, Lord of the Rings who played the the, oh. the, the old wizard. Um, yes, yes, you know um, who. He's the old, the older dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Him, he's young. the famous You're Richard II. Um, but I saw, uh, you know, I, I, we did it in Stratford, and uh, oh, Ryan Bedford played him, and it was well, phenomenal. Well, we'll look out for that. Thank you. you. Ian, Ian McKellen. Yeah, Ian McKellen, McKellen. Thank that's you. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ian McKellen. The power of Google. Uh, you're so quick. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, listen, thanks so much for hanging out. Don't forget, tell your friends if you've got friends here in L.A. May 3rd is uh, Viviana. The Vivi oh, the Viviana downtown. Yeah, downtown, in the art of the city. Go to betterla.org for tickets and information. And uh, you'll, get to, uh, yes, and you'll get to photo. hang out. Hang out with the celebrities. Can we take yeah. a photo with you? Sure, oh my please. gosh, what a pleasure. What do we do? Okay, there's the camera right there, and they're going to take a screenshot. Okay. Yay! Yay! <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thanks a lot, David. Do you Thank have you. a hard time finding roles because you